What is up guys? Welcome to your second Python game development tutorial in Pygame. And in this tutorial I'm going to be building um, a simple, it's not a game, but it's a basics to a game. And um, you're going to need it in order to learn all the basics that you're going to be using in later tutorials. So before I begin I want to show you guys that I have two image, images. One's a JPEG image right here called BG. And this is pretty much uh, just the background I'm going to use right here just a little gradient and the other ones a little ball as you can see right here so um, whenever I use those images now you'll know what I'm talking about and that's the first thing we're gonna use so open up a new uh, Python script or program whatever you call it and let's create variables for those images and since they're in the same directory I don't need to use any um, little backslashes or anything I can just put their names so I'm gonna put background image file don't name it background because we're going to be using background later on. So I'm going to name mine Biff and just put this um, to the image wherever your background is. So I named mine BG and please again make sure it's a JPEG and I'll tell you why later. In my my ball for the mouse cursor I named it mouse image file or MIF and set this equal to the um, wherever your mouse is. So my mouse is going to be the ball so I name it ball.png and anytime you want to work with tram transparency in Pygame make it a ping anytime you want to work with a lot of colors make it a JPEG so make sure your background is JPEG and your mouse is a ping so now that we got those we can move on to the basics of what we're probably going to need to do every tutorial the first thing that we're going to need to do is import Pygame and system um, you'll see why later. And another thing we're going to do is in or uh, from Pygame locals locals we want to import all. Uh, I don't know what the asterisk is. Let's see. I have a bunch of stickers on my keyboard from After Effects tutorials, so it covers up all the symbols. So that's why every time I type a symbol, I have to look on my laptop. So next. What we're going to need to do is initialize all the Pygame modules. So, pygame in it. And that's pretty much all the housekeeping stuff we need. We're going to need to do this every tutorial. This just imports everything we're going to use that's built in. And this just pretty much gets it ready for us. We don't really need to learn that. We just need to just copy it from my tutorials. Now, here's the meat of our program. Here's what you need to learn. Let me tighten this up a bit. The first thing that we're going to need to do is build a screen or a window where we can play our game. So let's go ahead and make a variable set it equal to screen. And how you do this is go ahead and type pygame dot display dot set mode set underscore mode, and this lets you create a window. The first parameter it takes, and it's the only one necessary, is to create um, the size of your window and set it equal to whatever you created your background. Mine is 640 by 360. Now it takes a couple other parameters. The first, the second one is something called a uh, flag, I think. Don't worry about that. And the third one is the bits. And this is how many colors you can use. Just put, since I'm using a 32 bit system, just put 32 or whatever your system is. The next thing after that is we want to take that image that was our background image and we want to convert it to something that Python can use since you can't just use it straight from your computer so go ahead and type background we're going to store this in the background variable and type pygame image dot load and then in your parameters in load type bif or whatever you named it up here and this is going to go get that um, image from your computer and what we're going to want to do is convert it and what this does is convert it to something um, Python or Pygame can use and we want to do this exact same thing with the mouse cursor so I'm going to name mine mouse underscore C I didn't like to name it mouse because Python already has something called mouse so that's why I named it mouse underscore C for mouse cursor so again Pygame image load and in your parameters type myth or whatever you named uh, your file path up here and what you need to do this is convert underscore alpha a l p h a there we go and with empty parameters and why do we do convert for this one and convert alpha for this one 
Well, convert alpha, if you don't know from like web design or anything, alpha means transparency. And since there's some transparency to our cursor, remember there's a ball, but you could see through the sides of it. That's why we need to do convert alpha. So pretty much um, on basics, anytime you're working with a ping with transparency, use convert alpha. Now what we need to do is build the main loop for our game. And what the main loop is, is a loop that keeps going and going. So in order to do um, a main loop that keeps, it's pretty much like a never ending loop, you either need to type while true or while one. These two things make sure that your loop never ends. And the first thing we're gonna do in our loop that never ends is give our system a way to shut down. So before we even build anything, we wanna make sure when that user clicks that Xbox or close, your program shuts down. So here's how you do this. And again, you just need to copy this for now, you'll learn it later. For event in pygame dot event, we'll be going over events later, that's why. Get empty parameters. If event, we'll probably be going, be going over events in a couple tutorials, but for now, just uh, follow me. If event type equals quit, pygame dot quit, and sys dot exit and this is why we needed to import sys at the beginning for system exit but anyways moving on um aside from this and make sure you're right under your four see notice my intention what we need to do is blit the background to the screen and what blit means is pretty much copy the background right on your screen um again we'll be going over this later but here's how you do this Okay, background, make sure I spelled it right. And your next parameter is zero, zero. And what this does is pretty much take that background that you created and copy it on your window. So that background is always on the window of your screen. Blit pretty much just means copy um, two things to another. So now that we got our background, um, actually this tutorial is getting long, but now that we got our background, we can begin to build the mouse. And since this tutorial is getting kind of long, I'm going to put that in the next tutorial so I don't have to rush. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and make sure to check out my next tutorial. And oh, by the way, make sure to subscribe. See you.